So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I think it's a really pretty way to wear kind of orangey, um, smoky colors, and it kind of follows the trend of a bold lip for spring. And this is more of a nighttime look probably. Um, I would wear this during the day, I don't really care, but um, this is kind of a more nighttime kind of spring look with the orange trend and um, with the false eyelashes and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. I am keeping the Frankly Scarlet collection um, around the items individually for sale until probably the end of May. I love this collection. It's one of my favorites I've done so far. And um, I have lots more fun things coming up for Pumpkin and Poppy, especially now since it's becoming more of my full-time job, which I didn't think would happen in less than a year. So I'm really, really excited. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I have my brows filled in. Um, I've actually been loving the Too Faced Mad Eye Palette. I got this on my trip to Las Vegas and I looked through the ingredients about a million times. And this is a vegan palette. I'm not sure if any of the other Too Faced ones are vegan. I don't think most of them are. But this one's vegan. So if you guys want to go pick this up from Sephora, go ahead. I highly recommend it. But I just used the coffee... Um, coffee bean color which is like a cool matte brown to fill in my eyebrows I'm not doing a more natural eyebrow today since this is going to be a dramatic kind of um, burgundy smoky eye if you will which I know doesn't sound like a very spring look but I really wanted to do this tutorial for a while um, when I first posted my um, frankly scarlet collection I did like an eye look with this combination of colors and I really loved it so I wanted to do that tutorial for you guys. Um, we're going to be using Harlot, which is that burgundy with copper sparkle and shimmer in it and a uh, burgundy color of her um, dress that she wears when Rhett makes her dress up like a harlot, basically. I want to add Melanie to the inner corner, which is that dusty, silvery, beige, pink color. And we're going to be blending out Harlot with George's Burning, which is that burnt orange color. We're going to, going to be using Ret Eyeliner as a base. If you didn't get this, these were only available in the full collection, and they're sold out now. Um, I ran out of the Ret Eyeliner. Just to use like a dark black brown eyeliner as a base, or you could even just use a black if you wanted to. That's fine too. We'll be using this as a base on our lid. I probably will be um, making this color for my permanent line but without the gold glitter so that's why I'm just not making more at this point in time. I do like the formula, I just want it without the glitter, if that makes sense. You can use whatever mixing medium you want. This is just one from my line. Um, you mix it up first, like make sure you shake it and then just put a drop in the cap of your eyeshadow. Putting a base down just really really helps. Um, pigments adhere to the lid really well and just kind of intensifies them. I'm using an Eco Tools flat shader brush. That's my favorite kind of brush to apply um, pigments to the lid. And I'm just kind of tapping it in the eyeshadow. You want it to not be too runny but not too clumpy. Kind of like um, cake batter consistency if that makes sense. Okay, and now we're going to be applying that to the lid. I think that pigments are the best kind of eyeshadow to use if you want your if you want glitter in an eyeshadow formula pressed eyeshadow. I think the glitter just doesn't show up very well on the lid just because of you know the ingredients that are used to press the eyeshadow down. I'm gonna put a little bit of dry harlot on top. And this kind of sets it too if that makes sense. Like it makes it so it uh doesn't crease. And always pat, don't rub with mineral eyeshadows if you want the best pigmentation. This is an easy dupable color though, it's just a warm matte brown color. And this is Chinchilla. And I'm just going to blend out the crease with it. It's going to be a base for George's Burning. Kind of just makes everything 
meld together really nicely, if that makes sense. And this is the Deluxe Crease Brush from um, Real Technique line. And then we're just going to go in with George's Burning in the crease. Again, that's that burnt orange color. I'm just taking um, Eco Tools Crease Brush. Um, it really doesn't matter what brush you use for this part. And we're just kind of popping that in the crease on top of the brown. We're just taking a blending brush to blend that out. And this one is from Everyday Minerals. Really good one. Pretty affordably priced too. I'm going to take a little bit of Bohemian, which is kind of a similar color to um, Harlot, but it's a little softer and more brown based and doesn't have any glitter in it. Um, we're taking that color, and this is just um, Real Techniques, what brush is it? Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush, and we're going to use that on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's Perversion on the upper and lower water lines. I'm going to do a thin line with the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Perversion. And this is their waterproof liquid liner. I've been using this a lot this month. It's probably going to be in my April favorites, so check that out. I'll have a review, kind of a mini review on it. But we're just going to do a thin line of that. So if you're doing false eyelashes with this look, and I'm not going to be doing that on camera because I'm not very good at falsies yet. I'm practicing, I'm trying to get better, but um, I'll definitely show you the look with the false eyelashes so you can see what it looks like. But I really like this eyeliner because look how thin that brush is. It's like really easy to get a thin line. And it lasts all day long. That's kind of the shape I have going if you can see that. Alright, I'm going to put on my falsies and then I'll come back because I'm absolutely horrible at putting them on. But I did find a latex-free glue that does work decently well. It is the Duo Brush On Adhesive. I got this from Madame Madeline, um, which is where I get my lashes from. I'll link that in the down bar. They're pretty affordable. I'm using the Red Cherry Lashes in number 600. And again, these are animal hair free. These are human hair. Um, I don't really like the plasticky falsies. I think they're too heavy, but since these are human hair, they work really nice. They're nice and light and they look natural. So these are my favorite ones I've tried so far from Red Cherry. They're number 600. And about 20 minutes later, I finally have my falsies on. And again, these are the number 600 and I get mine from Madame Madeline. They're like $1.99 on there. They're a really good deal. I usually get like two to three uses out of them. So these are my absolute favorites so far. I'm not the perfect person at putting on falsies yet. I'm trying to get better, but they really do add a lot to a look. So um, that's what I got so far. For lips, I am going to be doing um, an orange lip with this because orange is super big for spring and I love orange. I wear it all the time anyway. So um, I'm going to be wearing one of my favorite orange lipsticks to kind of go with the orange burgundy smoky eye we got going on. And it is Bees Knees from Organa Scriptoria. Again, I'm sure you could find like one from Wet n Wild that'll work as well. Um, this is just one that I really love. And it's like a pumpkin orange kind of color. And again, if you if you don't like something this bold, you could do a nude lip um, to make it more wearable, but I really love orange. And to finish off the face, I'm just going to do a little contouring. I'm not gonna wear any blush or anything since we already have a lot of really dramatic colors going on in this look. So I'm going to be using um, my Cosette S130, which is the round blush brush. I really like this one for contouring. It just gives a really pretty soft contour. I'm using the Terra Moisturizing Bronzer. Um, I've been using this like every single day. I really love it. 
Um, just make sure you tap off all the extra because if, especially if you're a bear like me, this color can be a little overpowering. So make sure you get up into your temples. That's what makes contouring look really natural. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you later. Bye.